Next question is from Stuart75002. I recently read an article saying that bulking is a young man's game. Is there any age where you would recommend, not recommend, eating in a caloric surplus? Okay, so this I don't read this article, but it's probably referring to the type of bulking that uh, is the wrong way to bulk, right? The, yeah. the, the way that you bulked when you were younger, when you didn't track. Yeah. Just high calories, like all means necessary. Yeah, let's see how much weight I can gain and yeah. let's see how much I can eat. So that, yeah, I agree. You get away with that when you're young because when you're older and you eat in a ridiculous surplus with a bunch of garbage food, you're going to damage your health probably a lot more. But in terms of bulking the right way, right, which is eating in a surplus to gain muscle and strength or to reverse diet to get the metabolism to boost, that works for anybody. I don't care what age you are. I don't care how old you are. But the surplus can't be so big where you're just gaining excessive body fat. And again, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how old you are. You don't want to eat in such a surplus to where, yeah, I gained three pounds of lean body mass, but I also gained you know, 10 pounds of body fat. Well, okay, your, your surplus is a little too much and you're not training properly. I like to keep, I like to make sure that the, the weight that my clients would gain through a bulk was almost all muscle. Now, inevitably, depending on the person, they would gain some body fat, but it, it, it couldn't make up more than 10 or 15% of the total weight that they gain. It's like, if, if you gain 10 pounds and, you know, five of it's body fat, like your, your, your surplus is a little too high. I mean, I'd like to read this article, but I'm willing to, I mean, I, I can get behind it because I'm willing to bet their angle they're taking is just bulking looks different today at 40 than what it did at 25 for me. Sure. And a lot of that has to do with just my movement. You know, I'm, I'm a dad now. I have a job where I talk on a mic all day long. I sit in a car for two hours a day. Yep. Like, like I just don't burn nowhere near the calories. So bulking for me is literally adding a protein shake on top of what my maintenance is or very little do I have to add yep. to put myself in a calorie surplus. And so it looks, whereas when I was a kid and I know you both can relate to this feeling of like, I can't eat enough. I mean, force feeding peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and slamming these whole milk shakes because I'm playing basketball. I'm training eight to 10 clients a day. I'm running around with my friends. Like I'm on the weekends, I'm doing active sports stuff. Like I just was burning so many calories that, and I think that I, I, I was probably the common young teenage boy who is active and into sports and stuff like that. You just burn a ton of calories. And so I think that's where probably this is coming from. And then as you get into your 30s and 40s and beyond, there's very few men at that age are probably moving as much as what you were when you were 20 years old. Yeah, and also when you're younger, your training program, at least mine wasn't as smart. I didn't understand. I overtrained often. I went to failure on my lifts too much, did too much mm -hmm. with my workouts. So my workouts weren't sending the best signal. So it was all about how many calories I could get in to see the scale move. And I also didn't, care if it was body fat or muscle because I grew up skinny. Mm -hmm. For me, like a pound on the scale was a pound on the scale and I didn't care. So I, you know, my decisions were like, oh my God, I'm so stuffed after lunch. How can I force more calories in? Oh, I'll eat a bag of Skittles or I'll drink some Coke, right? Um, or I'm going to go to the fast food place and supersize everything and then I'll get those extra calories. That kind of bulking isn't good for anyone. Yeah. Now, the reason why it may be a young man's game is you get away with it more when you're younger. That was the point that I was trying to make. Yeah. But proper bulking is proper bulking. Whether you're young or old, it's you have to send the right signal. The body has to want to build muscle. And then you give it enough calories to do that and not too many over because then you just gain body fat. Well, and I think too, it's just like generally as you get older, like the, the game really is like, I don't want to add any more weight, you know, like, and I want to, it, you've, you've done a really good job of figuring out uh, how to consume calories and uh, not move quite as much. And so like your lifestyle is completely different than it was you know, maybe when you're more dialed in and you're younger and like, you, yeah, the, the margin of error was, uh, you know, not quite as, as slim, which is now it's like every little thing you have to like be a little bit more dialed in. So I think just taking in all those factors, like you mentioned, in terms of our uh, what that looks like now, activity level wise, uh, your your consistency, uh, how hard you're really getting after it in the gym, all these types of things are going to you know play a factor in terms of how far you're going to push that. Yeah. Back. And one thing you said is very true. When I was younger, and I think as people get older, they tend to become a little bit more obviously mature, but less insecure. And I didn't care. I just wanted to get bigger. 
Yeah. Now, even if I had the ability to just gain like as much muscle as I wanted, I wouldn't want to go to the point where I was uncomfortable. Whereas when I was younger, I didn't care. I'd be as uncomfortable as hell. Couldn't breathe. Didn't fit in me. You know, I, that was great. I was you know, right. because it totally fed to my insecurity. Now I'd be unhappy. Yeah. I don't want to feel like I can't move and I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, so it's just one of those things. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.